Hello and welcome to this Ask a Guide video on how to register an account and get started on Ask a Vendor. Let's jump right into it. Click the sign up button on the home page to go to the registration page. The first step is to select whether you want to register a corporate account to represent your company, or a personal account for your own use. You can find out more on the differences between these two types of accounts on the Ask Us page on our website, or also in our About Us video. In this guide, we will be going through the corporate account registration process. Personal account registration will also be more or less the same, with only a few differences in the information you need to enter. For example, for a corporate account you will need to enter your company name, whereas for personal accounts, you will need to enter a nickname as your user identifier. Ok so let's go ahead with the corporate account. Enter your company details here. Remember that the company details including name and registration number needs to match your business registration document exactly. After the account is registered, you will be required to submit a copy of your company registration document for account verification. Next up is the tax reference number. Leave it blank if your company is not tax registered. You can also leave it blank for now and complete it during the account verification process instead. Click the link to read the terms and conditions and privacy policy. Tick the checkbox to agree. Click next. Enter a valid email address. You can create only one account per valid email. So for example if you use your email address to create a corporate account for your company, you will not be able to use the same email to create your personal account on Ask a Vendor. The following fields and steps will be the basic registration process, so let's skip through this part and get to the end. Once you have activated your account using the activation email sent at the end of this process, go to the Ask a Vendor homepage and log in using the email you use to register and password. Congratulations, the first part is done. This will be your home screen when logged in. Now, for new corporate accounts, the first thing you might notice is the message at the bottom of the page asking you to complete the company's basic information before proceeding. This step won't be required if you created a personal account. It will be ready to use right away. So to complete the account verification, click the check status link in the message on the home page, or click the Biz Center link. Then go to the Biz Info tab. Fill in all the mandatory fields marked with an asterisk, and upload the company registration document and also tax documents if applicable. If you do not complete the tax information when submitting, your company will be considered as a non-tax registered company, and your account settings will be automatically set to reflect this. Note that you will not be able to modify the mandatory fields on this page once account is verified. You will need to separately send in your request for changes to us via email with the relevant documents. Lastly, Read and agree to the terms and conditions, and click Submit when the progress bar shows 100%. The details will be verified by the Ask a Vendor team and the account will be ready for use within one working day if everything checks out. In the meantime, you can browse through the different services available, go through the other Ask a Guide videos, or contact us if you need any further assistance. Note that you can only publish content and communicate with other users or send quotations once the corporate account has been verified by us. We will send you an email and SMS notification once the verification is complete. That's all. You are ready to start using Ask a Vendor. Catch you again on more Ask a Guide videos. Bye for now.